putting North Dakota first. In continuing coverage, we sit down with those who fought the Mandan apartment blaze. Mandan firefighters tell us they've never seen a fire quite like the one that lit up a Mandan apartment building just over three weeks ago. Not to mention it was on one of the hottest days of the year. Renee Cooper sat down with several firefighters today to see how they're doing, and she joins us now with an update. Thanks, Lauren. The sun was blazing on Sunday, July 14th, as every single Mandan firefighter was paged out to Northwest Mandan. One firefighter I spoke to was fishing up on Lake Sakakawea, another was in Jamestown, and another was all the way in Medora. But no one thought twice about responding to the call of duty. We could tell that it was bad when they were sending firefighters to the hospital and calling in other departments. So when we got to town, First thing, we, they put us up in the ladder truck. So, so hour and a half, two hours into this fire, they were still fighting it pretty good with the ladder trucks. The biggest obstacle that day, the heat. You could only work for a little while and you were so heat exhausted that, you know, you had to quit. Freeze says it was likely about 140 degrees up in the ladder and several firefighters were treated for heat exhaustion. A few ended up in the hospital. With the gear and the heat and everything else, you're gonna, you're gonna dehydrate you know, pretty quick. We had 29 people from our department respond. Uh, 11 of them were treated with IVs. Uh, four of them were transported to the hospital and one spent the night for observation. Battalion Chief Hildermeyer was on the first crew that arrived on scene. When it's extremely hot or extremely cold, firefighting is hard. Uh, and we can only take so much of that gear off and still be able to fight fire safely. So. Imagine putting on all your winter clothing when it's 95 degrees and going out and working hard in your yard. It's, you know, it doesn't take long for you to tire out. Captain Freeze tells me because of the heat, the fire spread through the attic really quickly. He says it was almost impossible to stop. In the 21 years that I've been on the fire department, it's the worst structure fire I've been at. Since I've been on this department for 25 years, it's, um, it's been the biggest fire that we've seen here. A couple of weeks ago, Fire Chief Steve Nardello ruled the cause of the fire accidental. Today, he told me they still know it's accidental, but because of the extent of the damage, they weren't able to find out too much more about its origin. And Lauren, I'm happy to report all the firefighters are back and they're in good health. Thank goodness for that, Renee. Thank you so much. KX News extended our thanks for the efforts of our first responders today. We brought bagged lunches out to the fire department and enjoyed getting to know these servicemen over lunch. As we discussed the heat and the extreme fire last month, it was certainly nice to sit comfortably in the air conditioning. The firefighters even got a personalized forecast from meteorologist Dave Holder. Keep it here. More ahead after 56 years braiding community with work, one man is ready to start his bucket list. By the first, looks like we may be starting our...